Hi, I'm Matt from Focus Training. And recently, one of our leaders in a program asked a question about how to engage remote employees in the culture of their team and organization. This is a great question, and one that a lot of leaders are navigating as many of our teams have shifted to either being fully or partially remote. When we're thinking about engaging employees in our culture, we have to first ask, what is culture? And what we're talking about here needs to be defined a little bit. Uh, we talk about culture as a set of shared expectations, assumptions, values for either the organization or the team. And so if we want to make sure that employees are on the same page, that they are sharing those same assumptions and values, as leaders, we need to occasionally validate that. This can be as simple as asking some questions of the folks that you work with. So for example, asking a question like, if we had to choose between disappointing a customer and going over budget on a project, which direction do you think we would lean as a team and why? Figuring out whether your answer and their answer are similar can be an important analysis of your culture. Next, we want to think about recognizing the difference between a team culture an organization culture, and the regional culture of where your employees might be located. So for example, I grew up in Minnesota where we have Minnesota Nice, and some things that we do might feel confrontational to us uh, in that sort of Midwest cultural norm, whereas a person on the East Coast of the United States might not have that same squeamishness about confronting an employee about an issue. Can we differentiate that regional culture from the team culture and then frame it in the right way so that it fits? Inviting a, a manager, for example, from Minnesota to see a direct conversation about performance as nice, uh, something that is gonna help an employee get better and advance their career. That reframing as a leader can help bridge the gap between a regional culture and the team culture that you're striving for and help us avoid some of the confusion about whether something's actually important because it's core to our values, or whether it's just a small artifact of culture that's not really affecting our work. Last but not least, engaging folks in the culture means that we are gonna to need to get creative at times so that we can be inclusive on our team. If I invite members of my team to happy hour or to toast a big success in person, how does that make remote employees feel? often excluded from the culture. So we can either get creative to find ways to include them, maybe shipping them a bottle of something and a glass and inviting them to toast virtually, or we can find unique ways to engage them differently, maybe sending them something separate that local folks are not going to get, or finding an opportunity to visit them in their hometown, take them out for a cup of coffee and a conversation. Remember that inclusive does not always mean that we have to do things exactly the same. This is true whether you're working on engaging employees who have children versus those who don't, or employees who live across the country or the world, and those who live in your backyard. Think about the ways to make people feel included on your team. So when you're trying to engage folks in culture that are spread out, remember, think about what culture really is, Think about which parts of culture are important to the work and the team, and think about creative ways to make that culture feel inclusive of everyone.